Welcome back. We are now going to attack this master bus and start to set up our stuff so that we know exactly what to expect as we get through this, all right? This is a really important part of my workflow. And this is actually called top-down mixing. Basically get something dialed in like the vocals, the drums, you get like kind of basic levels and stuff and some basic EQ and compression going. And then you want to start on the master bus, get everything going to the master bus. And then you just start to massage the mix after you have everything thing going there. So it's a really important aspect of moving fast in this business. And it's something I've, I find myself doing more and more of as we uh, get towards the ending of uh, 2021, right? So now I'm going to go and show you exactly what I'm going to do with the master bus. While you were gone, I did tweak a couple things. So for the doubles on this uh, chorus, I took out a lot of the top stuff and I really tried to kill that high end stuff because we really don't need all that. And then also this sibilance, there's like the, you know, the S coming right in on these tracks. I want to also just do some manual editing here because as we start to process, those things jump out more. And I'll show you exactly what I mean. So what's he? So what's he? So what's, you know, like there's all that S in there. Um, so what we want to do here is we want to take these S's and we just want to like basically let's go to slip mode and let's go just just fade it really hard we can also blade that and we can turn this down instead of fading it if we wanted to uh, just remove the fade oops I didn't mean to do that but basically just hit delete it'll delete the fade and then you can turn that s down really hard on both of these um, so you're not coming in really hard with s-ing uh, and then let's also fade on each of these as well so what we could do is just grab these and go all right let's fade hard and you could even bend the fades if you wanted to, like shape them a little bit more. So let's hear that entrance now. So what's he? Well, so what's he? Much better, right? We're not going, so what's, you know, like that's, it's just really hardcore on the ears. But it's also making our processors work really hard as well. So um, you can also go in and so what's, so when she's saying what's, we can take that down as well. So what's he? What's he? What's he? And you can just see like how long that S is. So this is the O, was, and like this is the S of the was, you know? And really like that part is just, it's just so much, you know? So we can literally just go in here, um, blade this area, take these both down. And this will just kind of like, you know, make it a lot smoother, make it feel better. And then um, if you highlight all the sections, you can just hit F and it'll do crossfades, okay? So F, crossfade. You can set up your crossfades in the crossfades dialog, um, but I won't show you that stuff. You can figure that out probably. All right, so let's hear it. So what's he? They don't got the bags, they can do it like me. Don't got enough ass, they can do it like me. Okay, it's sounding 10 times better. Uh, I hope you agree. I hope you can hear all right and uh, you got your hearing still. All right, so <laughs> just talking some smack, you know? Um, so yeah, we dipped out a little bit of this 1K and a little bit of this 200, and we brought in some more of that sub on the instrumental. But now we're going to bring everything to the master bus, and we're going to focus really hard on this chorus um, and just starting to really dial in the sound of this chorus with the beat instrumental and everything. And one of my favorite plugins for EQing everything together and widening it out a little bit, um, as well as just dealing with some problem frequencies and doing some, some mid-side EQing is this BX Digital. So let's start to shape some stuff. So I feel like in the club, they're really gonna wanna hear and feel that 45 Hertz. So we wanna probably just give that a little bit of a boost and we'll make sure that we're also uh, sweeping everything under that 20 Hertz, 21. You can even go a little higher on this if you wanted to, um, even up to 22, 25. And then here, let's try to make up some stuff uh, in this 200 and just look around for st stuff that's really gonna pop out and be annoying or take up too much voltage. Blow his last on a bitch like me. Even digging in the stash for a bitch like me. HBIC, 
Okay, and then let's make sure we're also kind of balancing this output. Um, just make sure we're not like clipping out on the output. Uh, just kind of make up the gain here. We'll make it up with compression and stuff, so don't worry about that right now. If it's hitting too hard, we just kind of, we're going to do some gain staging. All right, so let's go. Okay, if you see some red on these plugins, by the way, these are like very, very uh, detailed, you know, 64 bit plugins. So you have plenty of headroom. Um, just be careful, you know, of if it just pin, like pinning, right? So if you could see movement, you're good. I think that's fine. They don't got the bags, they can do it like me. Don't got enough ass, they can do it like me. And you gonna need some cash for a bitch like me. HBIC. Okay, so that's starting to clear up some room and uh, so we can start to compress again and kind of give more vibe and more gel to the fact that there's just a vocal on top of a beat, right? So that's where you really want to use the saturation tools. Um, here I have a variable mu compressor, which has tubes in it, which will give it some nice, um, some nice harmonics. And it may or may not work. We shall see. So what's T? Okay, so I'm liking it. It's pushing things a little bit forward, which is nice. Uh, this next plugin I'm going to use uh, very, very, very subtly, um, which is the Vertigo VSM uh, VSM three, which is just giving uh, some some glue and harmonic distortion, which I, I feel like will really start to tie this thing together. But it may be too much of a mess, and we might want to keep it a little bit cleaner without this. So what's the tea? Like me, and you gon' need some cash for a bitch like me. 
I definitely think her vocals need to be kind of on top of the beat, just so uh, we're really clear. Um, it's just like a more modern feel. I mean, let, let's go back to the reference and let's let's listen and just kind of A, B where we're at so we're not losing, uh, we're not missing the point here, right? Like, you always want to go back to the reference. So what's the key? They don't got the bags, they can do it like me. Don't got enough ass, they can do it like me. And you gonna need some cash. So what's the key? They don't got the bags, they can do it like me. Don't got enough ass, they can do it like me. And you gonna need some cash for a bitch like me. HBIC, they don't do it like me. Your nigga try and smash on a bitch like me. Better nigga blow his last on a bitch like me. Even digging in the stand. So we're in a good spot. Um, you're just hearing a volume difference because you're hearing what this uh, volume change is actually doing. But um, we're in a really good spot. It's gotten a lot wider. It's gotten a lot more um, punchy. It doesn't like cut your head off with your eardrums, you know? Um, but yeah, obviously this other one, the reference is much louder, but we're getting there. Don't worry. All right, so we have uh, the Gold Foss here, and I think this is going to be kind of a cheat code on this track because it's going to give us some separation, which I really think uh, will help a lot. So I'm just going to balance out everything and, and take it back down. And we're going to go down to this like 35 hertz here and this high stuff. I think probably good where it was. Um, these are just filters, so we're not affecting those things. And then let's start to uh, bring in some tame and some recover on this. So what's the key? They don't got the bags, they can do it like me. Don't got enough ass, they can do it like me. And you gonna need some cash for a bitch like me. HBIC, they don't do it like me. Your nigga try and smash on a bitch like me. Better nigga blow his last on a bitch like me. Even digging in the stash for a bitch like me. Okay, just starting to finesse this. I think the gold foss is cool. Um, it's starting to sound like it. it's almost like a little too sterile when you turn it on, but uh, maybe we'll back off on it once we start hitting these other processors. So what's the key? They don't got the bags, they can do it like me. Don't got enough ass, they can do it like me. And you gonna need some cash for a bitch like me. HBIC, they don't do it like me. Your nigga try and smash on a bitch like me. Better nigga blow his last on a bitch like me. Even digging in the stash for a bitch like me. HBIC, got me feeling. So what's the key? They don't got the bags, they can do it like me. Don't got enough ass, they can do it like me. And you gonna need some cash for a bitch like me. HBIC, they don't do it like me. Your nigga try and smash on a bitch like me. Better nigga blow his last on a bitch like me. Even digging in the stash for a bitch like me. HBIC, got me feeling. So what's the key? Me. And you gon' need some cash for a bitch like me. HBIC, they don't do it like me. Your nigga try and smash on a bitch like me. Better nigga blow his last on a bitch like me. Even digging in the stash for a bitch like me. HBIC, got me feeling. So what's the key? They don't got the bags, they can do it like me. Don't got enough ass, they can do it like me. And you gon' need some cash for a bitch like me. HBIC, they don't do it like me. Your nigga try and smash on a bitch like me. Blow his last on a bitch like me Even digging in the stash for a bitch like me 
Okay, so right now we're just trying to get it to sound loud without it sounding like completely destroyed, which is gonna be really, really, really tough when you're mixing to a two track, right? So we're just using different tools like the Oxford Inflator, the Limitless plugin. Um, we're using some really cool stuff and uh, we're just trying to make this this sound you know, nice and loud and good and fat for the club. Um, Sooth 2 here, I don't know if this is gonna work. I don't really, I just have this in my template, but um, this will start to soothe out some of the, um, the high harsh frequencies in the de-essing again. So we're just, you see how we're taking chunks out of the de-essing and the harshness all the way through. We're not just like trying to get it right on the vocal, um, et cetera. So I'm just trying to like, you know, give it this loose kind of vibe. And I'm gonna just mix this in here. Let's see what this does. So what's the tea? They don't got the bags, they can do it like me. Don't got enough ass, they can do it like me. And you gonna need some cash for a bitch like me. HBIC, they don't do it like me. Your nigga try and smash on a bitch like me. Better than the blow his last on a bitch like me. Even digging in the stand for a bitch like me. HBIC, got me feeling So what's the tea? Okay, so now we're getting at a point uh, where we're getting all the master stuff down and now I just kind of like want to get it all together and then I just want to start backing off on stuff, okay? Because I know that it's going to compound, it's going to get crazy. So the last thing here is our limiter and I like to use the Ozone 9 and I like the EQ and the dynamic EQ in here to get my final little bits of dB and hit going, right? So the transient emphasis I think will really help this. Um, I want to take the, the transients and actually put more transients in and less sustain. Um, but I don't know. Let, let's see how that sounds. And then I like the modern on here. And then I don't think we should be limiting that much. We should only be limiting very, very little. And yeah, we'll just kind of check out these frequencies, see what we got here. I know that 4K is not really going to be the answer here. Um, you know, just because I already feel like there's so much 4K in this. Uh, dynamic EQ, we can get rid of a little bit more of that 2K area that I'm not liking. That, you know, that's just like really squeaky and annoying. And then, of course, the top top, we're just going to kind of dynamically EQ the top out of that a little bit. And let's see here. This is like 400. I think this would be good. Three to 400, we can get some of that chunk out. And then uh, I don't think I want to stop the 139. I feel like we need that transient. And I don't think we need to stop too much of the sub. That's going to be club shit, right? So let's check this out. So what's the tea? They don't got the bag. So what's the tea? So what's the tea? They don't got the bag. So what's the tea? They don't got the bags. They can do it like me. Don't got enough ass. They can do it like me. And you gonna need some cash for a bitch like me. HBI. So what's the tea? So maybe in the beat, we need to worry about that 2800, but maybe not in the vocal, right? So I'm going to bypass this and we're going to go to the beat and we're going to start to check out that 2800 area because I feel like that's a really, really annoying area in the beat. And also it'll make more room for the vocal to kind of pop out. So what's the tea? They don't got the bags, they can do So what's the tea? They don't... So what's the tea? They don't got the bags. They can do it like me. Don't got enough ass, they can do it like me. And you gon' need some cash for a bitch like me. HBIC, they don't do it like me. Your nigga try and smash on a bitch like me. Better nigga blow his last on a bitch like me. Even digging in the stash for a bitch like me. HBIC, got me feeling. So what's T? They don't got the bags, they can do it like me. Don't got enough ass, they can do it like me. And you gon' need
need some cash for a bitch like me HBIC, they don't do it like me Your nigga try and smash on a bitch like me Better nigga blow his last on a bitch like me Even digging in the stash for a bitch like me HBIC, I be feeling So what's the tea? They don't got the bags, they can do it like me Don't got enough ass, they can do it like me And you gon' need some cash for a bitch like me HBIC, they don't do it like me Your nigga try and smash on a bitch like me So now what I want to do, um, obviously we'll go to the next module and I'll show you some more stuff, but um, I'm basically going to take this and I'm going to start getting the verses dialed in and I'm going to take an ear break now because it's been too long since I took an ear break. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> 